glory in the name of Jesus. As we have this communion day, and I'm glad to be here on another communion. I don't know about you, but I'm grateful for what Jesus did for me. Way back on Calvary. Yeah. Yeah. And that same Calvary still works on today. How many are glad that Jesus' blood is still working for you this day? Hallelujah. It reaches to the high this mountain.
will find it posted on our Facebook page, New Vision Christian Fellowship. You'll know you're in the right place when you see the profile picture of our pastor, Bishop Dorothy Lee II. Perry Kundi. One of his, on one of his European tours, the master magician and locksmith, Harry Houdini, found himself locked in by his own thinking. After he had been searched and handcuffed in a Scottish town jail, the old officer shut him in a cell and walked away. Houdini quickly freed himself from his shackles and then tackled the cell lock, but despite all his efforts, the lock would not open. Finally, ever more desperate but completely exhausted, he leaned against the door and his one opened so unexpectedly that he nearly fell headlong into the corridor. The old officer had forgotten to lock the door. 1 Corinthians 16.9 records, A great and effective door is open to you, and there are many adversaries. The biggest adversary opposing our progress lies in the mind. Your thoughts and opinions, what you believe about yourself, how many opportunities have we lost just because we failed to walk by faith and not by sight? A position is posted in your company and you feel a prompting to apply, but because you do not believe you're qualified, you don't even submit an application. Or you are asked to lead a project that may present new challenges, but you turn down the opportunity, convinced that you don't possess the abilities to do the job. Proverbs 16.3 says, Ask the Lord to bless your plans, and you will be successful in carrying them out. When we compare our limited skills with the vastness of new experiences, it may cause doubt in our capabilities, but with God, all things are possible. Apostle Paul tells us, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. Keep this message close to your heart. You'll live a better life. God bless. Amen.
So that we are strengthened by the word each and every day. So this is the 
practice that we have to do. It's a discipline. And so when I was talking to the Lord, I said, well, Lord, I know that you are showing me this and you're telling me this because I need to practice more. So when you practice something, more and more you get proficient at it. Uh -huh. you, are, you can say, oh yes, I know him to be this, I know God to be this, because I'm practicing the word, I'm working the word for my life. Yes. And so I just want us to make sure that we are doing all that we need to do in order to be successful in our thinking. Take time to think on the word of God. Allow the word of God to sink in. Recite the word of God. Memorize the word of God. So the dictionary told me a little bit about thinking. It says to think, to form in one's mind, to have as an intention. How many of us have been intention in our reading? Intentional, meaning that this scripture, I'm going to apply it. I've heard Bishop say so many times, our Bishop here, say so, too, so many times to put your name in part of the word. When it's applying to you, I, apply the word and say your name so that you can get attachment to it and get a certain connection to it. And sometimes we don't do that. So to think, it says to have an intention, to have as an opinion, to consider, to ponder. That's not quick thinking. That means we, you have to take a look pondering over and over. It's going to be a, a way of you training your mind to spiritual things. I'm going to go back to that same scripture. That scripture ministered to me on yesterday. I'm going to go back and I'm going to read that scripture. I'm going to let it say, minister to me and it's going to say something to me on this day because I'm going to reread that scripture. Think to determine, to call to mind, to have an expectation, to center one's thoughts. Think. To center one's thoughts. We got so much else going on, we got to narrow it. Narrow our thinking and think on spiritual things. We got too much going on. We're scattered. We're going, we're going, we're, going. we're working, and we're doing, and those are excellent things. But we are so consumed with all of that, and we're thinking of what we need to do next on tomorrow, the following day, and all that, but we have not had time to be with it in tune with God. And so he wants us to Come closer, come closer to him. So we have to shut out what's going on in the world and come closer to God in our spiritual thinking. So I'm going to give you some scriptures. Philippians 4 and 8. We're going to go there, saints. Okay. And so it says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true. This is what we should be thinking about. Uh -huh. what to, whatsoever things are honest. Whatsoever things are just. Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, if there be any praise, think. Somebody say think. Think. Say it again. Think. Think. On these things. On these. Now, did any of those things say, uh, come on, uh, No, that wasn't in there. Were any of those things that you should be thinking of? Finally, I'm going to say what it says in the Amplified. It says, finally, believers. How many of us are believers in here? Hallelujah. Finally, believers, whatever is true, mm -hmm. whatever is honorable and worthy of respect, whatever is right and confirmed by God's word. That's the Amplified. It's helping you. Whatever is right and confirmed by God's word. Whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, whatever is admirable and of good repute. Repute means the state of being favorable, known or esteemed. If there is any excellence, if there is any anything praiseworthy, think continually. Amplify told you to think continually. It's not a one day occurrence, and then you don't come back to the word none the next month, till the next month. There is, if there's anything worthy of praise, think continually on these things. Center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. Center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. Romans 12 and 2. 
And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. In the amplified, amplified version of Romans 12 and 2, it says, And do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually. How many of you want to mature spiritually? You have the right, so don't you want to mature spiritually in the things of God? By the renewing of your, your mind, by the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes so that you may prove for yourselves what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect in his plan and purpose for you. Proverbs 23 and 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. What are you thinking about yourself? That's only a question that you can answer. You were thinking about so much other stuff. We're not thinking about spiritual things. But sometimes, even as believers, we think the worst of ourselves. And God wants us to think what he thinks of us. He wants us to focus on what he thinks, not what, you, what your neighbor is saying about you, what the co-worker is saying, or even your family may be saying that the things about you. Well, what is God saying about you? What does he think of you? One of my favorite scriptures is Jeremiah 29 and 11. I'm going to go there. Because we need to know what we're thinking about and how we can change our thinking and get on a spiritual track. So Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Now, in another version, in the message, the message, this is the message from the Lord for you all. I know what I'm doing. That right there. <laughs> should help us. This is God's response. See, I know what I'm doing. This is still Jeremiah 29 and 11, but it's from the Message Bible. It says, I know what I'm doing. When I read that, I was like, oh, you, you, yeah, yes, Lord. I don't know why you brought me to the scripture again, but you do know what you're doing, even with all this situation that we're in, yeah. in the nation. Jesus' message to us is, I know what I'm doing. You don't know what he's doing. Right, right. You got to just go with the plan. Amen. So the scripture says, I know what I'm doing. I have it all planned out. Plans to take care of you, not abandon you. Plans to give you the future you've hoped for. How many of you be grateful that God has you on his mind? He's thinking of you. And you, you may fall off and don't think of him, but he is constantly thinking of each and every one of us. That's, that's some reassurance. We can, take, we can take that to the bank. Like, oh, the Lord is thinking of me. When people forget about you, they don't think about you. Birthday come, Christmas come, anniversaries come, you don't get nothing. Jesus is constantly yes. thinking you. of you. Amen. Jeremiah 29 and 11 in the Amplified says, For I know the plans and thoughts that I have for you, says the Lord, plans for peace and well-being and not for disaster, to give you a, a future and a hope. I just want us to remember what God is thinking of us. What is he saying about us? He loves us with an everlasting love. And then we forget about, oh, I, I forgot about him this week. I forgot about him today. I didn't even think on nothing spiritual. I, my mind was so distracted. My, my mind was elsewhere. And God is wanting us to just hone back into him, to his voice, to his voice, what he's asking of us to be the light on our jobs, to be the light in our families. I have one more scripture, and it says, Lamentations. 3, 21 through 23. 
This I recall to my mind. Therefore, I have hope. How many of you have hope in Jesus? Yeah. It is of the, the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his, passion, his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Think before you act. This is my message to you all. Think before you act. Consider your consequences. Be accountable for your words, thoughts, and actions, and attitude. <laughs> Keep your mind steadfast on the Lord so that you can experience perfect peace. Weed out the thoughts that don't line up with the word of God and plant new thoughts that will help you grow spiritually into who he's created you to be. The message is simple. You need to work on conquering your own point of view. You may not think much of yourself, but God thinks the best of you. After all, he sent Jesus to die for your sins. Remember, think about it. what's on your mind. Let it be of God in Jesus' name. Amen.
focus in on one thing. God is not a man that he should lie. <laughs> Nor the son of man that he should repent. You know, sometimes we, we again make some sins really, really big. And they talk about the homosexual and the gay life and things like that. And I understand that. And they say, oh, that's abomination. But I heard the word of God say, all liars have their part in the lake of fire. That's right. All liars. All liars. That's, that's the white liar. The blue line, yeah. The yellow line. And the black line. All lies matter. He went there. Oh, we are grateful for the message today. We're about to, to have our communion. So if you have your elements, amen. We'd like to let you know that um, we're going to have communion again on the 27th of this month. That's the last Sunday in uh, September. We're going to have communion again, which is our church anniversary. Um, so we will have it on that day and we will not have it on the first Sunday of October. So let's bear that in mind. When we think of what Christ has done for us, I believe it was Sister Linda that was bringing us back to the cruelty of Calvary. Yeah. And not only did was he on that cross for those six hours, but Christ went through a lot prior to that. And uh, it affected not only his body that was beaten, but it affected his mind. Yes. The message was on your mind. He had you on his mind. He had me on his mind when he went through. So we are so grateful, amen, for the things that God has done for us. Are you glad about it today? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. From the epistle Paul wrote to the Corinthians, chapter number 11, where you find these words. Yes. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Now let me just say this for a moment. That sometimes folk don't want to partake in this, um, what we are doing today because they feel unworthy. Well, that's a good place to be in because all of us should feel unworthy Amen. of what Christ has done for us. Amen. But what he said was that we are just not to do it in an unworthy manner. Paul speaks to the church there because they were getting drunk when they were supposed to be taking a little bit, you know, to remember the Lord. They were getting drunk. And they were actually partying. So Apostle Paul had to tell them, you don't do it in an unworthy manner. I believe that all of us, man, when we feel that we are unworthy, should take of the Lord's Supper. Also, it's for those who feel weak in their bodies. If you're weak, if you are at a place where, amen, you are 
are not living in um, victory, you're living in defeat, this is the time that you really do need to be taking of the Lord's Supper. Because this is an exchange place where we take on uh, what Christ has done for us. And not where we are at, but where we shall be. After the same manner also he took the cup. And when he had supped, said, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye in as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. There are those that are, are um, a Catholic church and some churches they, they take communion every week and um, that's okay. There are some that believe, especially when you are, are sick and afflicted, um, you ought to take communion every day. Amen. Uh, I certainly take my pills every day. Amen. And so, how much more Jesus. of the blood of Jesus that reaches to the highest mountain, that flows to the lowest valley, the blood that will give you strength will never lose his power. Drink ye all of it. Time is swiftly passing away. 
Amen. study on this Tuesday Bible study will be from 4 to 5 you can all you can watch it at uh, 7 o'clock it will be online at 7 o'clock but we have a virtual meeting from 6 to 8 tonight and I didn't want to wait till 8 o'clock to have a Bible study so we're going to do it early and we'll be posted so that you can and watch it there. So those who are watching us, amen. You can either see it at 4 o'clock on Tuesday, or you can just look on our on our page and you can see it then. Amen. Yeah. Our church anniversary is coming up and we're not going to be celebrating as we have in the past. We will have a couple of things perhaps on that Sunday, uh, but nothing, um, um, we're not inviting guests in and that kind of thing. Um, so our church anniversary is on the 27th of this month, and it will be our 17th year. Right. And we're gonna give God some praise for 17 right. years. Yeah. in an age where there are churches that are closing up every week. Amen. We thank God that he has allowed us to stay in place. Thank you, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And we also want to say that uh, as uh, uh, Sister Angel reminded us that of uh, election day to go out and vote. Amen. And that'll be on November the 3rd. Amen. And if you have not already um, asked for your mail-in uh, ballot uh, you have until I believe it's October the, I want to say the 4th okay. the 5th October 5th to uh, request it so I won't wait don't want you to wait till uh, amen that time comes go ahead and do it when it's on your mind yeah. amen As a matter of fact some of y'all can do it on your phone right now We want to pray for um, Sister Sharon uh, uh, Thomas. Uh, she lost her, her mother on Friday. And so we want to pray for Sister Sharon. Amen. That the Lord will strengthen her. I believe that the memorial service will be on this coming Friday. So let's keep her in your prayers. And of course, we remember to pray for Brother Tucker and uh, Philip Hobbs, Chris Rankins, and uh, LaJoy Alexis. Amen. And of course, all of those that are affected by COVID-19 and those that are, are participating in, in the, the various protests, amen, that God will give them strength as they continue to do the things that they're doing. Amen. Uh, we can pray. Uh, there are those who, who uh, have chosen to be a part of that. Um, I personally do not have the, uh, the, the, the physical ability to do that uh, because of the things that are going on in my body. Yes. But I'll tell you, if, if I, I could, I would. Amen. Amen. Preacher or no preacher, I, I would. Let's pray for the peace in Jerusalem, President Trump, our national, state, and local authorities, and let us keep in, in our daily prayers all the families of and our first responders, 
our health care workers, law enforcement officers, and military forces around the world as they um, defend liberty for all Americans and world citizens alike everywhere. This month we have um, a number of, of birthdays and an anniversary. Amen. On the 5th, Sister Mabel McCullough. She'll be 21 again. Amen. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday. Yesterday, yes. She'll be 21 and one day again. <laughs> On the 10th, uh, our dear uh, Deacon Ed Thomas. On the, on the 14th is Sister Linda. All right. On the 19th, we have an anniversary of Brother, Brother Mo and Ellen Michelle Wilson. Right. On the 23rd, uh, Deaconess Amelia Thomas. All right. and, uh, it seems like both of them always are close. <laughs> and also on the 23rd, uh, my son, uh, Brother George McCree III. Oh, wow. And on the 25th, now, Edward, is this, this is uh, uh, Ebony's. Yes. That's hard to believe that it'll, it'll be wow. a year. Yeah. Wow. 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 His birthday is on the 25th. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, like I said, time keeps yeah. on ticking, yeah. slipping. What is song says, slipping, slipping into the future. Amen. Yeah. That is so true. Man, it's hard to believe that, amen, we're in September. And I tell you, it's harder to believe it's September because it stays so hot. It's been so hot <laughs> all of this summer. Yeah. When are we yeah. going to get a break? All those who are watching us, listen, y'all pray for us. Pray for us. Amen. Yeah, yeah, we have a breakthrough. We need a breakthrough. All right, did I miss anything? Trust I didn't miss anything. All right, then we're going to uh, have you stand at this time, and we're going to be dismissed. Again, let's thank God for the word that went forth on today. And I want you to, when you, when you, uh, uh, Go on Facebook, and when you open that up, remember to vote. <laughs> but when you see that that says, what's on your mind, I want you to think about the Lord. Yes, yes. With whatever other people are thinking, I want you to think about the Lord. Father, we thank you for this day, but this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We appreciate you, Lord, for your many blessings. We thank you for the word that went forth today. We praise you today for you are God, and beside you there is none else. Father, we ask that you would just bless us, Lord. Father, look upon all of those that are on the prayer list today. Father, we, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for these who are celebrating in this month. We ask that you would continue to strengthen them and bless them, Lord Jesus in their health, in their, in their wealth. Bless the Lord Jesus. Father, even as thy soul prospereth, let them prosper. Now, Father, we ask you now that you would dismiss us from this place and never from your presence, bringing us back at the appointed time. This we pray in Jesus' name. And everyone said amen. amen.